today I am going to film my very first makeup tutorial. Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, I went out to practice today and I literally had like 10 minutes to slap something on my face. So I came up with this and while I was at practice, some of the ladies said that they really like this makeup look. Um, it's very easy and this is literally going to be a makeup look if you are running out the door. So it's very simple, there's not even any eyeshadow involved, very simple, it will literally get you out the door looking snatch, trying to find that husband <laughs> if you're single like me. So if you want to see how I get this look, then just keep watching. <laughs> I have already washed and moisturized my skin and for moisturizing I'm using moisturizer <laughs> I'm using the Nivea mattifying day cream I do have oily skin so I try as much as I can to find products that will help to mattify so that they don't look like a grease ball the entire day I'm gonna use the NYX shine killer um, uh, primer and I'm just gonna put that all over my face, or I should say, in my oily spots. So, being my nose, my forehead, kind of in this area, my chin, and I'm just gonna rub that in. Okay, so foundation, and don't judge me, I didn't wash my beauty blender, I'm trying to be real. Listen, I'm late, I'm running out of the house. So, of course I didn't have time to wash my beauty blender, <laughs> or my, uh, beauty sponge but I'm using this one from Real Techniques and I think you can buy these at Walmart in a set of two for like $15 or something or you can buy them on Amazon I'm just gonna dab that all over my skin and I'm gonna use my little mirror here just to make sure I get an even coverage and I am in this I am using the foundation the MAC foundation Matchmaster SPF 15 foundation and I'm in the shade 08.0 or 8. And this look you can use for work, for church, if you're going out on a nice outing, if you're going to the movies, some girlfriends. Do like a little house party and by house party I mean like break it party because I'm saved <laughs> I ain't got no time to go into no house party <laughs> I, I'm just I have no desire to go to house party and make sure you blend down to your neck because you don't want your neck and your face to be two different colors you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask this is a good tip for beginners. Always match your foundation to your neck and blend down to your neck. So that way you're one <laughs> solid color from here to here. <laughs> so do that. I'm just gonna go over my eyes since I'm not gonna be wearing any eyeshadow. Just so that I look like one consistent shade. So I'm gonna use the Sephora brand um, gel bright future gel serum concealer in the shade 13 cream caramel and i'm gonna apply that under my eyes on my chin on my nose and a little bit under my forehead just to brighten up the face the maybelline fit me is also a really good um alternative to this one i think the maybelline fit me sells for about six five six dollars mm -hmm. around that but i can't use it because i'm allergic to it but if you so I gave mine to Candace <laughs> so um, if you try that one out if you don't break out perfect I know it broke me out my eyes swelled up so I just stopped using it Trying to look, getting, trying to get you guys looking snatched so you can snatch that drummer at your church. The bases, 
that brother, the new visitor, wanted to notice you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my uh, beauty sponge once again to blend everything out, and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use the side where I that I used to blend up my foundation. That way, there is no harsh line. So, um, yeah, I did a makeup course, so I kind of wanted to get my self out there and be more comfortable doing makeup on myself and other people and just to really work on my skills. And I do have an Instagram page, so if you want to uh, follow me on that, it is Cara Shannon Beauty and I'll leave, um, I'll actually put it up on the screen right here and I'll also put it down in the link below. Um, if you want to follow me on my journey to becoming a makeup artist, please do. I need all the support I can get. <laughs> and I don't know as to when I'll start doing makeup on people. It is to, I, that's my goal for 2017 is to start doing makeup on other people. So, um, yeah. So yeah, please follow me and follow this channel. Subscribe to us down below. Good. And I did have a little time today, so I did um, use some, a setting powder just to set my concealer. And I'm using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And it's just like this yellow powder. You probably can't even see it. Um, and I'm just putting that, that this powder in the areas where I have put my concealer. So under my eyes. And you don't need a lot. Like these other girls on the tutorial who be like doing the most with the powder. So I'm just gonna let this sit on my face for about well, a couple of minutes. And while that's sitting on my face, I'm going to do my brows. And I'm going to do like, just like brush and fill. Like, I'm not gonna sculpt them. I'm literally just gonna kind of brush them up and then fill them out, fill them in. And I'm, this pencil that I'm using is Milani. And I have got this a while ago. It's in the color dark brown. And you can find this at Superstore. I think that Superstore is the only place that sells Milani, actually. In Canada, at least. So it has a spoolie on one end and a pencil on the other. So to start off, I'm going to brush my hairs up. You can see that. I'm going to brush them up and kind of taper them down to the side. And then I'm going to use small strokes to fill them in. Your eyebrows will never look the same. They'll be sisters but not twins. That's what I learned <laughs> in my makeup course. They'll look similar but not identical. So that's it for eyebrows. Very light filling in of eyebrows. And now that this powder has been sitting on her face, we're going to dust it off and I'm going to use a, my powder and the powder that I'm using is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest by MAC. <laughs> or you can use um, the Maybelline Fit Me powder in coconut if you're in my shade. They act I sometimes I actually use the coconut foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in coconut and I just use the same powder from that line to dust away the powder. So, oh, and this is the brush that I got from BH Cosmetics and it's just a big um, powder brush and I'm gonna use that to dust away all of the setting powder that I put on my face. And then also set the rest of my foundation. Tap off the excess. And just go all over the face. It's kind of awkward with these two things in my hand. I'm just kind of flick it away and then blend it in. After we've done that, I'm going to move on to blush. And again, another brush that I got at Beach Cosmetics. 
and I'm gonna use the NYX powder blush in the color cinnamon and it's this um, really pretty bright orange and I know you're thinking orange but for black people it looks bomb on so I'm gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks and a beginner's tip um, smile and apply it I have my mom's cheekbones. <laughs> I'm extra, so I like to do highlighter. And for my highlighter, I'm going to use the um, CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. I don't think there's a color on it, but I'm going to use that for my highlight. And I'm going to use that on the top of my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, and a little bit on my forehead. Like I said, I'm extra. <laughs> don't judge me. But you trying to look snatched. I'm trying to get you a husband. Right? So, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it here. And I'm doing this just right on top of the blush. just the areas where the light naturally hits me and sometimes I do a little bit on my temples and that's you can see the glow and I'm also going to use some mascara another drugstore product this is um, the Super Sizer by CoverGirl and I really like this one it helps just to volumize my lashes Actually, uh, one day I'll do a, like a church approved makeup look. That way you can look extra snatched without being too extra <laughs> when you go to church. This is a nice neutral look, but for now this is just the I'm running to the store, I'm running to practice, having a girls night but I don't want to look like a slob. Um, five minute back to school. Um, I'm late for work makeup look and then for my lips I'm going to use Spite this is also not a drugstore product but also a really good investment and it's just like this nude brown pinky color color and I'm just gonna put that on my lips it's by MAC MAC actually has some really nice color friendly options, so definitely go there if you are a brown chocolatey girl like me. And that is it. So yes, this is the finished product as you can see. A very light natural quick look um, and if you want to see more looks like this then please hit that subscribe button down below and also follow me on my Instagram on my journey to becoming a makeup artist help me lord I'm so nervous about like doing makeup on other people but I can only do better if I practice so follow me it is car shannon beauty and i'll link it down below so you can follow me on that and yes we'll see you in the next one bye bye